Yeah, that's a good one. Go on. Go on. Go on. See what I'm doing? Knock him over with a feather. I'm trying to knock him over with a feather. Because knock us over with a feather. Guess what happened yesterday on YouTube? Tell him about it, Mac. Uh, we put a video out and it got sanctioned. Penalised. Whatever that means. So, yeah, the two videos we put out last week were questioning about the New Zealand so-called mosque shootings. Yeah, we weren't making these statements, we were asking questions, you know. Should this be there? Should that happen? Should there? Why has he got no socks on when he, go, when he goes in and he's got socks on when he comes out? We're just que asking Why questions. Why would a corpse do that? And the shells as well. Hmm. Yeah, well, how come the shells just vanish out of the gun like it's some... Well, it wasn't CGI, it's like it had effects done to it. And how come Facebook put that out as a... Live. A live feed, knowing full well that it was a pre-recorded video. And we asked all the questions about why would our government do something like this? Can, can you remember last time there was an exercise going on the same day there was a, a alleged terror attack? Really? Whereabouts? Well, there was 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, of course, yeah, there was a... They had an exercise going on them same stations and somewhere else, exactly! The ones that were used in the attack. And then, uh, oh, we've got 9-11, we had multiple exercises going on. Yeah. And then in New Zealand, it turns out the police were having an exercise. Well, knock me down with a feather. And they just switched from imagination, you know, imaginary to real. Hmm. As I say, this New Zealand thing definitely stinks, doesn't it? It really stinks. I've dug up some more stuff. Oh, by the way, you know, I was telling you, there was a, um, on the news the other day, they were going on about this film, it's Centenary or whatever it was, and I thought, oh, I've got that on DVD, on the Blu-ray, I'll dig it out. And uh, I get, get the case out, take the uh, the disc out, pop it in the uh, the player, and guess what? What? That's 1777. <laughs> the military march that was in the so-called shooters video was in that film. And guess what the film was called? It was got Steve McQueen in on a motorcycle. Ah, and it's called Great The Escape. Great Escape. Isn't that, isn't that coincidence? Anyway, we've got to be careful what we label this video because, oh, would you, like to, F? would you like to go back into your office, your studio, and just show all our subscribers and viewers the thing, the, the sanctions that YouTube have put on, what would you call them? It's limitations. Basically, they've removed... Certain features have been disabled for this video. In response to user reports, we have disabled some features such as comments, sharing and suggested videos because this video contains content that may wake the, pe the rest of the world up to what's really going on in New Zealand. Oh, I mean, be inappropriate or offensive to some audiences. Oh, who, what audiences could that be? Those in charge, the Illuminati. On both those videos, the videos are called, one's called the Kakamak Special, were the NZ something shootings a hoax? A hoax, and the second one is called Cack and Max Show. Were the NZ mosque shootings a false flag? And you'll see that you can't, they're not advertised anymore. Um, you can't share them, you can't share them apparently. You can't post comments, you can't post any you comments, you can't put tick up, you can't, you can't like or dislike them, and also. Where it says views, it's just got three dots. They don't show you how many views they've got, but you can probably look in the analytics. Mm. So if you just want to, if you don't mind, pop into your office and just show it. Although uh, anyone that's been to look at the, the stuff will have seen it anyway. It'll still be pretty good because underneath what it says before you can click on the video, you can still watch the videos, but there's a thing and it says, learn more. Why Inappropriate behaviour. Yeah, also. why YouTube has done this to our videos. So would you just put that up or even just put it up on the screen for, for the viewers I'd like to read it again and thanks to Callum for uh, pointing that one to us but both our, our New Zealand questioning videos have uh, had these so-called sanctions against it them. would seem that the YouTube don't want you to ask questions about an incident so that's destroying free speech well it would seem like 
this they've got something to hide if they don't want you to ask them questions about it and they're involved with it therefore global conspiracy time they used to host the video and now they've removed it as i say <laughs> the only trace of it and apparently they said they don't like the hate speech that's on out there so they've penalized us our video and our channel because of what other people have put because people who were like yeah yeah kill them all and other people were like well no kill the government but i don't think you should kill anybody really um but we we believe that there was a massacre went on but we we were questioning who was it staged by because that video was clearly recorded and shown on a different date the vanishing bullet so we've gone over it haven't we millions yeah. of times yeah and um Anyway, so we're going to have to be careful what we call this video. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the local mafia and their uh, communism protection. Zero emission car, which has to be connected to a power station every <laughs> night. <laughs> zero emissions, you've got to be joking me, it gets connected to Ratcliffe Power Station and all night. Um, the new electric cars are charged themselves, don't they? We've mentioned this. Yeah. So what else? Um, yeah, if anybody's not seen these videos before, we can't put a link to them because it won't work. So you'll have to search for the Kak and Mac special if somebody wants to see these videos. Um, or in, the, a hoax. in yesterday's video that I put out, reading the papers and whatnot, in the description, I actually put links to both videos on you on a uh, bit shoot and daily oh, motion. That's it. Yeah, thanks, mate. Um, yeah, have a look at not on bit shoot and daily so, so motion. Just, just while we're on that subject, these banners that we stick all over the place, they're information where you can say, find bit other shoot, yeah, daily motion. Yeah, it should be up here somewhere. Or sometimes down here. Sometimes down here. Sometimes up here. Well, that, that's telling you where you can find. So if ever you, but you put a link in the description, yeah, don't you? Where you if ever that. if ever this happens, then just go straight to bit shoot or daily motion search salon or salon X on daily motion, um, and you should find the videos. And uh, if everybody will put their comments, whether they like us or not, whether they hate comments or um, or whether they agree with us or whether they want to question or whether they want to share links to where the original video is, um, the original shooters video, which is on, we've mentioned this before, we didn't use the first word, but the first word's called best, and the other Try one... Trying to fit that big butt bag into that small letter box. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you can find it on best score. Well, an empty bit But we won't... Bit. If you keep, on YouTube, if people keep posting where it is, the original Shooters video, they're going to re start removing our videos. So yeah, have a look at it on BitChute or Daily Motion. And would you put your comments on there, whether you, as I say, whether they're good, bad, indifferent, um, the same, or whether you hate, hate the shit out of us. We, we don't care. Well, we particularly like it when you love the shit out of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we love you unconditionally. But basically, we do these videos for fun because we're sick of what's going on on this planetary game sphere and the lies we've been told by our mind controllers. And um, it's not fair anymore and the rest of the universe can't move on. So basically, we like to wake people up, lift the so-called veil of forgetting. And once that's been lifted, you can't go back because you realise what's going on, don't you? Well, some can, because some are so scared when they see what's really going on that they that they just decide that it's, I, I didn't see that. Doesn't I didn't no no I can't believe any of that. It's just a conspiracy theory. So I'm not going to look at that. I'm just going to watch Coronation Street or EastEnders or or the news. I actually tried to watch some of that Coronation Street, and it made me so physically sick. I did it in a shop that I wanted to put my foot through the screen. EastEnders is the worst, isn't it? As I, I say, don't watch any of them. We don't watch, really watch TV. If I want to watch uh, TV, I watch it online, the news or whatever. Um, but even that's just so mind controlling. So, what we're going to call this video? What has YouTube done to our. Um, if we put New Zealand or mask or shootings in it, it's going to get sanctioned again, isn't it? So, what have, what have YouTube done to our videos where we're asking questions? Are YouTube attacking free speech? Are YouTube attacking Cack and Mac? <laughs> yeah. You see how we come up with these titles? It's a it's a corroborative uh, thing. Yeah. How come YouTube are attacking Cack and Mac's videos? That should raise some interest. Thank you for watching. We love you. And you've got no say in it whatsoever. <laughs>